be here celebrating Dr. Cecil Anthony Jones. Wow, has it been a hell of a ride. Before I cry, I'm going to keep this short. Cecil, Wesley, Christopher, I'm grateful to have a boy family and a life packed full of fun and craziest. Now, Wesley and Christopher, if you didn't know, I'm now officially the big sister of the year, no matter what. <laughs> I am thankful to have a family that is now complete, full of support and laughs, no matter the occasion and what we all have going on. Mom, I'm so happy to see you happy and have a person that supports you in all your many walks and endeavors. You're the best role model and friend a daughter could ever ask for. I am thankful to see you and Cecil take on this fun walk of life and can't wait to see you all the fun and amazing things you do separately, together, and that we all get to do as a family. To family and friends, I am thankful you can enjoy this special day with us. I love you all, and all well wishes to the bride and groom, Dr. Cecil and Tamika Fletcher. <laughs> And thank you. My name's Irv. I uh, went, went to Academy, Naps, uh, that Nas song, 27 Summers. That's Cecil and I since 94. Uh, Bika, congratulations. You're having a, uh, not only the Navy family, but a family around you. All I say is that in behalf of Sano, keep the joyous occasion uh, permanent in your mind and um, keep the party going. All right. Hello everyone, just in case you don't know who I am, I'm Wesley Fletcher, and I guess I would call myself senior at this time because my grandson is named after me. Come on. I want to just take a few minutes to say a few things uh, to make you aware of some things. Cecil is my only son. My dad was an only son, so Cecil is named after his grandfather. And that's kind of a tradition in our family. And it's something that I really, really like. And I was so uh, thrilled when they named their son after me. Uh, also, Cecil is the first doctor, male doctor, in our family. And I didn't want to necessarily bring that up, but I'm glad that his daughter brought that to your attention. So I'm really very proud of him for that. Now, also he has two aunties that are doctors as well. I didn't get a chance to do that, but, <laughs> but that's okay. So I am very grateful that he has made that uh, 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 an accomplishment in his life, and I thank him for that. He's a wonderful son. I have a wonderful daughter that's coming on board, and I really thank you for all of your efforts. <laughs> I just want to take a minute to congratulate you guys. I didn't, a chance, didn't, didn't get a chance to attend the wedding, but I'm so proud of both of you. God bless you, God keep you. It's my prayer. Amen. All right now. How y'all doing? All right, I'm TJ. I'm one of the crazy ones in the family. I got the mic from his daddy. Cecil, I want to congratulate you, brother. I don't know you from a Cavs fan. But you, you got my cousin Mike. I got to say that. Um, I'm gonna keep it short. Congratulations. I could be more funny, but I ain't gonna do it to you. 
I love you, brother. As a black man. <laughs> She's back. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, hello. Uh, TJ, uh, my old sister's son. When Tamika was born, she told BB, y'all don't know who BB is? Y'all remember the song back in the 70s, Old Black Daddy? <laughs> That's been her name ever since, BB. We've been, we going on 45 years of marriage. Yes, yes. But, uh, my sister, TJ's mother said, when Tamika was born, that's my baby. She looked just like me. She looked just like me. Yeah. And, and, and she claimed it. And, uh, man, what's your name again? Uh, anyway. Oh, God. Yeah. I, I was surprised when I seen the name. Doc. I said, damn, he's a doctor? <laughs> my, my goodness. And then the phone rung at the house the other day. And it said, Tamika Fletcher. Is that part of I said, I said, damn, she changed her name, she didn't get a cute name. <laughs> oh my goodness. But uh, Cecil, welcome to the family. Nancy, Wesley, as you say, senior, since you got another little weapon going out there. Uh, yeah. But uh, welcome to the family, but uh, you all right. Yeah. You, you all right. Yeah. I, I like how you handle yourself and stuff, you know. At, and your other brother from the academy, what's the saying the Navy do? What, what y'all call it? You know, the Navy got hoorah. What y'all got, hoorah? Or what? It's a whole lot of Navy. Yeah, see? <laughs> oh, I forgot about you, nephew. <laughs> the, the real Navy. Y'all, all y'all, the rest of y'all fake. <laughs> you know, it's the seals that, that bring it home. You know. So, uh, hell. Uh, Cecil, Tamika, I do y'all well. Thank you. Daddy, you will. You went easy on me. Very good. Oh, go ahead. No, no. Hello, I'm the mother of the bride, and I got me a new son that he said I hated him when I first met him, but I did oh. I just had to learn who we were. I love him now, I love you both, but I wish y'all all the best in the world. <laughs> she said she didn't like you. <laughs> Thank you, Mommy. Okay. I seem to always be the one that has to, because I'm the oldest. But Tamika, I want you to know, you and this family, but I'm still the oldest. Anywho, I'm Robbie, as um, most know, some don't. Um, I tend to be labeled as the one that's kind of say what she want to say and apologize later. But, um, I just wanted to tell you guys congratulations officially and that Tamika, you here girl? You here, like you here. Hell yeah. You said you, you on the boat, you staying on the boat and we ain't gonna throw you over the boat so you'll be all right, you'll be all right. But I just. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I'm sure she got a life jacket somewhere, tucked under a, a blanket. Yeah, well, you said between us. You said what? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You right, you right, you right. Because she's not going nowhere. She not, she not. But I just want to tell you guys, I, I really do declare that life, love, and happiness continue to be your portion. I also prophesy in your life that everything that you guys put your hands to, God will honor that. It will prosper. It will grow. I declare that everything that you put your feet to, 
that you will claim that land. I declare that everything that you guys put your mind to, that you will have. I declare that things that you speak out of your mouth will manifest and will manifest great things. I declare that everything, everything that you can imagine, as the word says, that what you think, God can think even greater. And so I just declare over your life that peace, joy, and happiness forever be what you all have. Amen. Amen. All over the room, let's put your hands together. Come on, all over the room, all over the room. Robbie always coming up here evangelizing and prophesying and preaching and I'm not that safe. <laughs> um, it's all good. I'm Lily. I'm Cecil's younger sister. <laughs> no, I knew she was gonna do that. I set her up. You go up there, Robbie. I knew she was gonna preach. I said, come on, put your hands together. Come on, y'all, put your hands together for a while. Let's give God some praise. <laughs> but I'm Lee, Lee, Leandra, whatever you want to call me. I'm Cecil's baby sister. And um, as Robbie already introduced herself, she's the eldest and the... Uh, the blunt one and the tell it like it is and the mean one. And we got Rochelle back there. She was, you know, the middle child, typical uh, antagonizer. And she'll debate you about anything, a great debater. The sky is blue. No, Leandra is blue green. <laughs> and then you got me, Leandra, the star. Yeah, that's what they call me. That was mama and daddy's favorite. Now, I'm not, now, now. Not back then, you know, it was up for debate. Cecil was the favorite. I, we, we just came in terms with that. He was the only boy. He was the good kid. Mama said the skirts gave her problems. Y'all gave her problems, the skirts. But Cecil, Cecil, none of the teachers never complained about Cecil. We didn't have no problems out of Cecil. I said, what? So I spent, you know, a good majority of my life trying to fight for that spot. Like, what I got to do? Cecil, all right, he got straight A's. I, I can't do that. He good, you know what I'm saying? He missing, he don't get in trouble at school. I don't do none of that. Uh, it's gonna be a long road. I became the favorite when I was an adult. I'm the favorite now, right? You know, they be hating. It's all good. So, you know, normally I say snitches get stitches. I tell my kids that. But today I'm snitching because I'm buying for that spot. And I just want you, mama and daddy, to know that Cecil was doing all kinds of shit. When we was younger, he was with that dude right back there on the table. Damn, him right there. They was going, they was in there, all kinds of trouble. I was like, it just wasn't me. You know, I, I messed up. I should have kept good grades. That's how you cover up the bad stuff. Cecil kept straight A's. So moms and them was like, he good. He ain't got no time to be in trouble. He got good grades. He was straight A student. No time for trouble. I did it wrong. Stay out of trouble. But uh, I've always admired my brother. Um, he's a good man. Um, as my dad said, he, he, he's always been a straight A student, the star athlete. And this dude actually helped me graduate in high school. I never told this story. My parents don't even know. I guess it's the goose. See some more about that when the goose get loose. <laughs> start talking. But in high school, I was about to fail PE because I was ditching so much. Mom was like, mm -hmm. I was ditching. I had my own little line. I would tell the, had a school call my phone. Like, oh, she, she was out today. She wasn't feeling well. But anywho, so I'm in PE. It's almost the end of the school year. And I'm going and I'm talking to my, P, my PE teacher over my final grades. And he was just like, Leandra, well, you missed like 48 days. I said, what? Really? days? I said, oh no. He said, but you know what? I never asked you this. Your name's name is Fletcher. <laughs> Any relations to Cecil Fletcher? I 
said, you got to be kidding me. I said, yeah, that's my brother. He said, what? No way. I said, yeah, we both black. You know what I'm saying? I got all white school. No offense. I was at all white school. I said, yeah, I'm black. You know what I'm saying? That's my brother. He was like, what? Yeah, I said, yeah, that's my brother. He said, all right, I'm going to pass you. I'm going to strengthen your brother. See, see, you help me get my diploma. I never told you that. It's a true story. But no, but in all seriousness, I love my brother. I'm glad that he found somebody to do forever with. Um, I love you guys. I wish you all the best. And I'm sending you a bill after this. I'm tired. Y'all ran me ragged. No, but I love you guys and congratulations. All right, give it up for Evangelist Lee, Lee Andra Fletcher. I am the middle sister of uh, Rochelle, and uh, Cecil is my little brother. Um, they left me. Um, I can say that uh, they may think that they are the favorites, but I am the favorite sister. Uh, I met Tamika first. Uh huh. She loves me. <laughs> uh, no, I'm gonna keep it brief and keep it short. I don't have any jokes today. I'm gonna let it ride. I don't have any jokes today, but I wish you guys the best. May God continue to bless you and keep you and let you be in, rock you in His bosoms. And I pray that forever is yours. All right. I love you guys. Congratulations. Pleasure for letting him stay my friend because I know he, I know he ain't it was it was tough. So I didn't see I didn't see every last one, all the last choices. I would say this is a great choice he made on this one. I'm happy for you, bro. Um, I know you've been through a lot. You deserve all the happiness in the world that you're getting. But this guy right here, you like an onion. You got, you got, you got, you got so many layers. He's so like he fit in so many crowds. Due to him, I rode his coattails all throughout elementary and high school, you know what I'm saying? Because he was a good kid. And then people would be like, why are you friends with, with me? He'd be like, why are you friends with Dale? And they're like, you guys are, are not the same. You guys tell me we were cousins. So people would say, I was in class, and he'd be like, why can't you be like your cousin Cecil? I don't know. Shit, it's not my DNA. So, but Cecil was with me tonight, like the day I got shot. This, this is my best friend. He was with me that night. He's my brother. He never left my side. I left when he went to college, though. He left me back alone. Uh, <laughs> he was supposed to stay, Mr. Fletcher. All right, though. You put so much into that, man. Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, all right, you know. I heard the call. I wanted a daddy like that. So I'm just rolling around in circles because I'm drunk. <laughs> So, this is what I'm doing. Plus, I got, I'm just gonna push, you know, that's why I'm on the circle. Just, ah. <laughs> but, Tamika, I like you a lot. I like you a lot. You, you're different than the others. I like you. you, you. What a time. I like you. I think you're good for him because he's so mild mannered and, and he's so mild mannered at times. Like, uh, Mr. Fletcher, he's so mild mannered. Yeah. So it's like, 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 he went to college and found skill, a person like me, loud uh, and, and talkative. 
Mean, she's, she's articulate. She's, 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 she's here. Articulation with energy. <laughs> <laughs> and with energy, I like it though. So I, I spent more time talking with me than when we can see some. Because he's gonna be like, ah, ah, da, 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 da. I'm like, yeah, next folks, bro. You should. But Mika, that's my girl. I like you. I love you. I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad what you did with the boys. I mean, I seen the, I seen the connection, I seen the chemistry. See some great job. Thank you for being the best friend, a role model, a brother, and everything I need. Um, you know me, man. You, you know I would survive a lot of things if it wasn't for you, bro. Like, Cecil stopped, like, Cecil stopped a whole bunch of things happening to me that I had no idea who was my conscience. So he, he told me a story, like, hey, so-and-so was coming to get you, woo-woo, then I talked to him, woo-woo, like, that stuff. Like, you gotta talk to him for me? <laughs> talk to him for me, bro, bro. And the whole time I was like, all right, yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you, they was coming for me. I talked to him, like, I talk big, like I'm something, I'm not. So Cecil's my guy, he been there with me from thick to thin. I watched him cry when I got hurt. I know it hurt him. Um, but he's one of the reasons why I, like, I had to bounce back in life so fast, though, because he's just a, like, a, he's like, a, he's like a template. She was a great template for, for black men, young black men. He's an example. So when I started Mia Family, the best I knew was the Fletchers. That's all I knew. That was like, that was like, that was like my cosmic. Mr. Fletcher, soft spoken, but firm. And so I tried to model myself after, you know, his kids and my kids. And so I, I tried to make sure my son is straight, give him the up and move, move. Mama Fletcher, I know I worried you. <laughs> oh, I know I worried you. I came over there like that was my second home. I used to cry to my mom. I can't go spend a night. <laughs> my feet used to stink. <laughs> in the right season. In the right Michelle. <laughs> nah, nah, Rochelle ain't got no heart. She could be like, ugh, got married. Got a house smell like that. She's up with the doors. The special coming there like, you ain't take no bath. <laughs> nah, my mama bought me pro limbs. I fixed them. So, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. 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 <laughs> I don't know how to follow that up. Uh, I'm a little, I'm a little dug. Well, I used to be a little dug. Now I got a little dug, but I'm Tamika's little, little brother. Uh, Cecil, now I'm your little brother. Why, well, man, Cecil, y'all? I ain't gonna lie. I like he ain't gonna make it. So, we was all out in Charlotte. It was me, it was my cousin Justin, <laughs> Cecil, we had like three of my other cousins. We all chilling, we had the bar, doing what we do, partying, finna go out. To me, the only girl. Always the only girl. Well, I got another sister Angie right here now. Now Angie ain't coming outside. <laughs> y'all make sure y'all get home say I see you when y'all get back. <laughs> We had the bar, Cecil pull up in the big truck. Get out of the truck, he confident. I'm like, who this guy? And what's up, y'all? We going out? I'm like, yeah, it's cool. Tamika like, who that? I'm like, why are you asking? <laughs> we finna leave one bar, go to another bar. She's like, I'm gonna ride with him. I'm like, what you talking about? I ain't ride with him. I don't know him. <laughs> who this guy? Ever since that ride, yo, she's been around. <laughs> I'm talking about, I thought the brother was gonna be gone like maybe a couple weeks later. Nah, brother been right there, like the whole time. 
Like, he's still around, he's still, man, he's still around. But nah, man, for real, I'm so happy for y'all. I didn't see y'all at the very beginning, and now I see y'all at this resolute position. It makes my heart smile. I've been right there. She was like, man, she won't let me talk. <laughs> Now, if y'all know my sister, or if y'all met my sister, she might not let you talk. But this is a brave, strong, courageous brother, man. And he made it. He made it. And sis, I'm, it's just so good to see you so happy, man. Like, quit crying. You always crying. Stop that. Every time we go somewhere, she be crying, y'all. Last year I gave her a birthday card, she cried. <laughs> what do you know money in it? <laughs> nah, but for real, for real, for real. They got a strong love, man, and I done had some intimate moments with both of these two people right here that maybe a lot of y'all haven't had. Um, and I'm grateful for it. Um, bro. I ain't got no brothers. Well, I take that back. I got some brothers through marriage. But you are now another one of my brothers. So all my brothers through marriage, mama, mama and daddy ain't make no more boys. I was, they was like, that's it, we're gonna start with him. <laughs> but nah, I, I welcome you to the family. Wesley. You made, a, you made a great young man, man. Mama, y'all made a great young man. Uh, the sisters, you know, I'm crazy. I love y'all too. The kids, love y'all. The friends and family I don't know, y'all figure out I'm crazy. I might be a little bit more crazy than she is, but I love y'all too. Um, I wrote something that I was gonna read. I don't know if I got time. So, I'm gonna read it anyway. This uh, a joint called Devouring Love. It's, a, it's about love and it made me think about Cecil and Tamika because they both done had a journey outside of each other, but they back. They back! <laughs> <laughs> so Devouring Love, wishful, forged the notion out of stone that a moment could sink us into a revelation. Swift. Be swift, allow us to reach a thought that before it was imagined was a fairy tale. Now live, live in truth, enchanting. Creation unfolds with a tendency to be ferocious. But this tender vibe is one that copes the fire, galvanized tranquility, peace inside a peace. A jubilant garnishment of emotions, titillating contempt of something that is so dangerously close to perfect. Did the comparison float on the flittering of heartstrings or was it the flutter of the hummingbird's wings that left the scent of honeysuckle? A redolence in adolescence whose change is quite prevalent when untamed. Temperament compels us to enlist. Enlist, my brother. Orbit arbitrarily entangled our axis, tantric in its raw form. Home. A lure that serves as bait in the form of a fashionable love. Happy. My brother and sister happy. Okay to be cautious, to adjust to the moment that presents itself. Translucent fibers create a boisterous imagination. Anticipation lingers in the grasp of fingertips. Truth flows through that grasp and delivers a synapsis, one that alleviates the previous caution. Fuck all that shit behind y'all, man. Fuck that shit. <laughs> For real. I'm so serious, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I, I, I feel this shit because I know they journey. Man, listen. Truth that flows through the grass and delivers a synapsis, one that alleviates the previous caution. And now we remember love. We remember that thing that we hid from due to past experience. Now a pink hue accentuates the clouds, the heavens celebrate the willingness to rediscover passion. Happy, a thing that often feels unrealistic, 
but memory coaxes the soul to remember the feeling. Eyes bewildered, connections of two sets ignite, passion, a yearning that is almost impossible to control and yet the champion of fleeting, wince, not because things are grim, it's the growth, an increase of courage to be susceptible to love, bewildered by a canvas, one that was previously riddled with points and the paint of mistakes suddenly blank. I said blank. Y'all start from a brand new beginning. Full of possibility. Be the brush. Gorgeous and gruesome. Be you. Perfect and flawed. Be us. Y'all together be us. Grace and danger. But allow the revelation to come and create from will and not from caution. Adjudicate, but allow your questions to discover the motive behind the deliberations. Did you give it a chance when it needed to be? Relate, reasoning and deduction. Embolden your heart. Provide, not an opportunity. Provide the thing that makes you smile and your own smile capture your heart. A smile that steals the hearts from many, but celebrates the moment in which you put your guard down and allow others to see the greatness that's always be you. Been you, sorry. Let you be, let us be. Journey in a capsule that have opened in 200 years will have an inscription, one that read, I allow love to devour me. Y'all let that shit happen, man. I love y'all. And she crying again, y'all. <laughs> Nigga, we made it! <laughs> okay, let's give a hand for Doug. Let's give another hand for Doug. <laughs> but, but some of the people that came up before me have taken some of the lines I was going to say. But anyway, my name, is, <laughs> my name is Nancy. I am a Miss Fletcher, I should say. I am Wesley's wife, I'm Cecil's mother, Rosalind's mother, Rochelle's mother, Leandra's mother. I had three skirts and one son. <laughs> I think Rochelle said that, or Leandra said that. And they, uh, they always said, Mom, you favor Cecil. No, no. I, all of you did say you just took it differently. But no, I love you all the same. But anyway, Cecil, what's it like to say, one of the quiet ones, and Cecil, had, he was so involved in everything. He knew on Saturdays like today, he had choir rehearsal. The choir rehearsal, he had to go bowling, and then he was in baseball, he was in football, he was basketball, he was all of them. And who was doing the running? Mama was doing the running. I said, say so. You have to choose something that you like best, but I like them all. I said, well then choose some, choose one that you think you're the best in. But I'm good in all of them. <laughs> I couldn't say anything, right? So I had to continue to. But Cecil was, he was, he was mild, mild-mannered, and still is, you know, uh, level-headed. Uh, and I heard one of his sisters say, I'm not gonna say, and they all probably said it, but one of them said recently, yeah, it, it, it take a good one to outthink Daddy and Cecil. What about me? <laughs> but anyway, basically, <laughs> I got halfway offended. You know, hey, Mama brought you here. Mama take you out. You know. <laughs> but anyway, I said I I love these guys. The first time I met them. Uh, uh, Tamika, uh, when she came, uh, we went to a family reunion. She came with uh, Cecil, and she we spotted each other at the same time. She said, "Oh, you must be Miss Fletcher. I said, you must be Tamika." She said, "Oh, I am. I just, I just want to thank you for raising such a wonderful young man." I said, thank you, thank you, thank you. But Cecil has been uh, a Deborah to some of the others that said he has been a wonderful child. Young man, now I'm a middle aged man. Now he got a, I got a birthday coming up tomorrow. Yes. And happy birthday. And while I got the phone, we can just say, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, 
to you. Happy birthday, dear Cecil. Happy birthday to you. All right, I love you. I love both of you. And to me, you're just such a wonderful young lady. Okay, so I'm going to make it short. I am the oldest niece of Cecil Fletcher. Um, outside of God, my grandfather, I look at him as a perfect man, even though that does not exist. So for him to, for my uncle to have come from him, he's a close second. I love you, husband. No <laughs> Um, but um, it, it takes someone very special to take on someone else's kids and not treat them any differently. So for that, we love you and we appreciate that. And I just wish, you know, that you guys, um, abundance pretty much, abundance in everything. Love you guys. Um, like, I'm not a mic person, but, hey, from the East Coast. <laughs> yeah, the East Coast, meet the West Coast and the West Coast. <laughs> hey, this couple right here, it means a lot to me. Because when you meet a good couple, you meet their family. And you cannot introduce everybody to your family. Even your good friends. There's been many nights. Oh Lord. Thursday night, over night. <laughs> golf. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. <laughs> Football practice, soccer practice. But I was not at a fuse that night that we talked about. And I wasn't there. But I was in summer camp. So I, where it is. <laughs> so I pull up to the, I was here by spirit. But hey, my best. I'm the oldest brother. <laughs> no, no, I'm about, about, about family, but not about blood. But anyway, long story short though, I was not in the fuse that night. But I got out of summer camp, said, get the meat season. This kid right here. He said, What's up? I said, What's up, man? <laughs> so we graduated from that level to the level we at now is it's her point, not you. You can't go this purpose there. So the football game, the practice games. But I'm gonna leave with two two thoughts and two words. My grandma taught us, my mama grandma raised us. They was in the streets. The grandma said, because of what you have, you hold your head up high. Mm -hmm. As if you own the world. Mm -hmm. This young couple right here, good people, hardworking people. And the word says, two words. When a man found a wife, he what? Found a good thing. Mm -hmm. My grandma taught us though, if you hold your head up high, no. I, I took I took T. I always smile. They don't know what you're thinking. Don't cry, man. If you hold your peace and let the Lord fight your battles, guess what? Victory is yours. Praise the Lord. I'm Angela. I am the oldest. Um, I'm going to keep it brief because um, I don't like to talk. 
Um, we know. <laughs> so congratulations again to Tamika and Cecil. Cecil, welcome to the family. Um, it's just beautiful to see the two of y'all thriving and just growing together. Just from the time that I've seen y'all together, and it's been a beautiful thing. It's very encouraging. And um, I truly just wish y'all the best. I mean, I know God has great things in store for you. Um, he has a plan for you. And um, just, just continue blessings on your life. The best of everything. Because um, you're around many people who love you. Someone who could not be here, but wish they were. But we are here for you. To support you guys. We love you guys. I love you. Um, and again, I wish the best for you and congratulations. Thank you, sis. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and the tears fall. <laughs> So, uh, just real quick, <clears throat> on behalf of me and Tamika, we'd like to thank everyone for uh, your presence. That's the uh, best gift that you guys can give. Um, you know, COVID has messed up a lot. You know, we've been trying to do this now for a couple of years. So, uh, pulling this off, first of all, Leandra, we ran her ragged, like she said. My fact, Look, she gave me some receipts. <laughs> yeah, run me, run her her money. But uh, Lee, 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 I know honestly, ser with all seriousness, we couldn't have made this happen without Leandra. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, thank you. But um, I'm not going to stand up here. Y'all know I can talk once I do talk. I don't talk much, but once I start, you know, I'm like a, a cut, a big wound. Hard to, hard to stop me once I get going. But once again, we thank y'all and appreciate your presence. And we love you all. And we're going to cut some cake. All right. <laughs> One last toast. Everybody got a glass? Nobody, no, nobody toasted. Everybody forgot to toast. Told the stories, but didn't toast. Okay, so we're going to raise it up and uh, may God bless you all and your union and all the good stuff that everybody said. And may all your pain be from champagne to the bride and groom. <laughs> Hey, right ladies and gentlemen, we're going to cut the cake. We do it because we do it. So we want our newlyweds where we have our cake so we can take pictures.